Hello, this uh, web, this short video is going to be about getting started with Sierra Chart and Visual Studio and we're going to discuss a bit and show how to set up the initial project um, just using Sierra Chart and Visual Studio Express 2010. Now the most of this is relevant for um, Visual Studio C++ in general um, you can use 2008, 2010, 2012 Express editions or the full um, version. I am going to um, start out by doing the following. We're going to copy the project template that comes with Sierra Chart. After that, we're going to build and compile the project, which produces the, the custom study DLL. Then we're going to see that compiled project in Sierra Chart. And then at the end, we're just going to rename the project to something um, that's not the default name and see that that's reflected in Sierra chart. And in the end, um, and we'll close off and that'll be it for this specific video. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the project template that comes with Sierra chart. So I am going to open up Windows Explorer like this and I have created a directory here called demo which I'm going to use for for the sake of these videos and in here I have an installation of Sierra chart okay so I'm gonna go into this folder and right here we have a directory called VC project which has a, a template project that we're gonna use so I'm just gonna copy this like so and come back up one directory here. You can put this anywhere you want, but for this I'm going to be putting it just next to the Sierra chart installation. And the next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll go into this directory and we'll take a look at what files we have here. Okay, so basically we have a few files. I'm going to expand this. And the important ones are this one. First we have a solution file. And within this solution file we have the project directory. Okay, now the project directory has within it two files that are important. One is the VC C++ project file and then the C++ source file. So again, we have the solution file. Within that, we have the project directory directory we have the project directory. within that we have the project file and the C++ source file so I am going to go into Visual Studio and I am going to open up the solution so I do that by selecting open solution I'm going to navigate to our demo directory into our project directory and I'm going to select the solution file now the first time this comes up, it, it's asking me to convert the, the, the project or the solution from, from an older version to a newer, newer version. The version that comes with Sierra Chart is, I think it's 2008, and so, since I'm using the Visual Studio 2010 edition, it's going to convert it for me. And this is just a straight, I'm going to tell it not to back anything up. Um, I don't need any backups for this. I'm going to click it Next and Finish. and just I'm gonna disable I don't need to see the conversion log I'm just gonna close that off okay now what we see here is kind of the hierarchy I discussed we showed before was there's the solution and a solution is just a set of projects then we have a project it's also called SC studies and within that we have all the stuff or all the files that make up our project in this case we have just one file that's called SC studies .cpp. and all of these correspond directly to to sorry all these correspond directly to the files we saw here as you can see that once we loaded this within um, with this vi within Visual Studio we we got a bunch of new directories here and new files here that Visual Studio created while while it opened this folder it doesn't matter it, it doesn't make any difference that these files are here for now um, they don't harm us and we're gonna forget about them for for the sake of this presentation